Hi, we're here at the HPE booth at Hannover Messe, and I'm here with Florian Deur. You're the IoT and Data Analytics Practice Lead, and we were discussing data in the manufacturing environment. One of the biggest challenges, I think, with data anyhow is all the different silos, and especially, I think, the treasure that you have with product engineering data that is available. Why is this? Why is this still hold in this product engineering department? So actually, um, the reason why it's holding, uh, hold the data in the engineering department is that an engineer used to have um, systems um, under their desk where they create cut oh, data, me, the models uh, they are uh, building to create some, some product. Mm -hmm. It's sitting next to their desk. And uh, this is the reason why uh, very, very useful data that um, other organizations in, in the entire supply chain could be interested in is sitting next to their desk. And this is what we want to change. And how can you unleash this information? Yeah, so actually what we are um, offering is uh, to have the data available at a central data center. So what we are doing is to take that desktop and put it in the data center to make the data available across the entire uh, organization, basically. And uh, what we are do having is a smart uh, engineering uh, workstation where we can have the same operation model um, that uh, the, uh, the engineer has before under their desk in their data center and uh, that, that has several advantages. First is the, the security part, it's mm -hmm. much more secured if you have the data in your data center. The second is you have a common operation model and the third is that you can make it available across the organization but more um, also to third party people and organizations that need to work with the data. And can you give some examples if you make it available throughout the organization, throughout the partners, how do they use this type of product engineering data? Yeah, um, for example, if um, there need to be some change or uh, the, the, the production people or the people that are doing maintenance um, at the, uh, the product life cycle, yeah, um, they figure out some problem and they um, uh, can cycle that data and that information directly to the engineering faults and have this um, closed loop back in the engineering much more faster when you have the data available in the data center and accessible throughout the entire organization. And if you want to use it for skill training? Yes, sure. So this is another, um, uh, another example. Um, so um, by having this data available and create a digital twin, for example, mm -hmm. Um, with augmented reality, yeah, you can also uh, um, empower your organization using augmented reality to have um, uh, to have the training available by augmentation. Meaning, you can um, use the digital twin to empower the people uh, guided through a maintenance process, for example. So you have, uh, for example, Hololens. Um, on and you be guided through a specific uh, workflow and you can uh, train your people and your organization um, by using augmentation um, at the specific um, piece you're producing and selling. And a great way to unleash the power and the treasure of your product yes, engineering exactly. data. And, and it's, it's, it's all about, as you said before, breaking silos. Make the data, the engineering data, the production data, the, the data that is coming from your end users. Uh, and, and make a common data platform that every organization part can access the, the, the data that they need to be successful. Florian, thanks a lot for your insights. Thank you for watching here from the HPE booth at Hannover Messe. Enjoy this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, share and get notifications of my new video.